Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I am out in the lovely Germany. Um, we are back on a short little break um, here in Bergen and um, I'm going to go out for a ride. And what I want to talk about today is um, 1,000 mile update about my Kingsong S18. So I want to be a, do a bit of riding, show you a bit around uh, the lovely, awesome, awesome countryside here in uh, Germany and Bergen. And, um, and also just uh, talk about the wheel and how I've, uh, how I've uh, um, sort of experienced it in, in a thousand miles. And yes, don't get me wrong, there's, there's loads of other people that ride um, way more miles than a, a thousand. But what I've been trying to do this summer is to um, get a thousand miles on my Sherman and a thousand miles on my S18 in between riding other wheels as well. Um, just to get to that mark so I can I can give you guys some feedback but uh, yeah let's get going and I, I hope you enjoyed this video and please if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel give the video a big thumbs up and if you've got any questions about um, a S18 or want to buy a S18 in 2022 uh, please drop some comments below and I can answer that for you um, but yeah guys let's get going enjoy this beautiful beautiful countryside so let's get going So guys, I haven't ridden this uh, S18 uh, now in uh, quite a quite a long time because I've been uh, uh, using the V12 and the Sherman just to get that thousand miles up. And man, I just I just got on this wheel the first time now, and it's just <laughs> it's just such a such a fun wheel. It's just such a fun wheel, um, and and I think um, it's it's purely because of the weight of the wheel so nice and light so light, nice and nimble it just really really rides so so nice get up and go and uh, you know, if you can find trails like 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 this um it's absolutely brilliant it just you know it's not the fastest wheel under the sun this one tops out at uh, 31 miles per hour and uh, i've got my uh, first alarm set to 28 um, and then my, uh, uh, well, then I know I need to back off. Because it just gives me a little bit of head, a little bit of head, headroom. But uh, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But yeah, guys, just to, just to give you a thousand mile feedback on the S18. And man, it's been a, a great, a great thousand miles on this wheel. And as I said, there's so many people that's, that's very happy with their S18s. And yes, there were some problems in the beginning. I've got a batch one wheel, and uh, and my wheel has uh, had the main board replaced um, because I uh, I hosed it down and water came into the top of the board. So something uh, something uh, 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 wasn't sealed. Something wasn't sealed properly. Oosh! Wasn't sealed properly. So uh, water came onto the board and it just fried it. So uh, just a note to myself really is to uh, is to not is to not uh, 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 wash down the wheel with too much water. You want to take it slow, take it slow. I'm going to smash down here and then uh, we can talk a little bit further. Uh, with the water damage, it it was uh, um, it went back to speedy feet because I've got a uh, I've got the warranty on the wheel with them. And uh, it's sometimes, you know, it's, it's worthwhile waiting for your local dealer or dealer that, that has support to, uh, to buy it from them. Um, you might also get the second batch of wheels when they just get launched and, and uh, most of the fine tuning has been done on the wheel. So uh, 
they re they replaced the board. We were hoping that um, a, a King Song would would cover the board's um, replacement, but now nah, they said no. So uh, Ian Ian replaced the board for me. So uh, I was very very happy about that. I hope you guys can see this this countryside. You know, it's just like a look at look at that. You know, gorgeous gorgeous countryside. But yeah, so uh, the board was replaced, um, and and really, you know, for this uh, wheel that is so uh, well, not so light because uh, uh, M103 is just way way lighter. But uh, for a S18, uh, this wheel comes in at that uh, uh, mid uh, 20 20 kilogram uh, weight. And man, it just it just makes such a big difference, such a big difference in just the whole maneuverability of the wheel. And man, when I got this wheel, I thought this wheel was oh, this thing is super high compared to my well my very old M Super little suitcase. But um, as soon as you get used to this this uh, this wheel, when you get on like say a Sherman or like any of the other wheels, you know, um, even even the V12 I'm riding. This wheel feels like it's super light. Um, they managed to get the height of the wheel nice and high, so you can do it, use it for trail riding. But also, um, also the weight of the wheel being lower down. So the the pedal height is high, but the weight of the wheel is quite low down. So it doesn't feel top heavy at all. So very very happy about that. So. The design, I also thought that it's not going to hold up because it's, because it is, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? It is, it is, it is very flimsy or whatever, um, but it's not. It's been, it's been holding up really well. I've only had like, say, I think it's about two or three crashes on the wheel. It was slow tumbles, so not massive high speed on road. It's usually on trails where um, I clip the pedal. And something like some something something like that so it's basically falling and then it rolls for about two meters and then that's it so never really um, massive massive crashes and the wheel is perfectly fine it's got a few scratches on you know if you want to protect your wheel go out and um, buy yourself uh, baby bumper strips it's got that little, little uh, uh, riffle on um, it's got 3m tape on the one side Go and buy yourself a roll of black, yellow, and just cover the wheel on the top edges. There, the, the sharp bits. Cover the wheel there. You should be fine. You should be fine. Look at it behind me. You know, yes, you can um, go and buy an electric bike. But uh, I like riding an electric bike, but I like riding an electric unicycle just like 400 times more. <laughs> so, uh, some fresh cows. Boom. I feel like uh, uh, Peter in the mountains. Your lady who. <laughs> Sorry, sidetracked. But yeah, guys, um, it's 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 just it's just getting back to the getting getting back to the uh, 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 the hardiness of the wheel. Now I have not had had any issues with this with this with this wheel. The suspension has been fine. Um, my my wheel came with a suspension suspension book and that suspension book was uh, the shocks suspension settings for a mountain bike so as i said in on a video long long way back um, the the wheel is basically a, 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 a set for um or the or the shock is a normal mountain bike shock che a cheapish mountain bike shock so, so um, you must uh, 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 take that settings and uh, and make sure you inflate it a little bit more, because uh, it is it is definitely a different pressures that you need to run on the wheel compared to um, compared to say a mountain bike shock, because the mountain bike shock needs uh, less pressure um, compared to a a uh, what do you call it a, uh, a EUC shock and as soon as you get that hang of it um, I think I'm running uh, 230 on the on the main chamber 
and uh, I think 90 or 100 in the negative, the small little chamber. So, uh, so go and try it out. You know, it's, it's, you just need to make sure the shock doesn't bottom out. Um, and it's got about, what, about, say about just um, a centimeter of, uh, of sag. So when you stand on the, on the wheel, um, the shock compresses about a centimeter and that's why that blue ring is there for is to set the sag of the suspension so <clears throat> excuse me as long as you uh, have that set correctly then uh, this suspension is absolutely a be, 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 uh, beautiful another thing as well you know there's that lockout thing as well so if you if you're on the road and you um, don't want the suspension to to uh, bounce flick that uh, lockout uh, switch and then you've got a a hardtail mountain bike or a hardtail EUC with uh, very little 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 movement into in the in the shock. You know, some people like it. You know, if you ride on the road and you need more um, more more performance, less less bounce, then uh, then feel free to use that shock. But yeah, it's the key thing is to make sure that your sag is set correctly and uh, for your weight. And then also just to just to uh, just to make sure that um, um, the shock is is really kept kept free of of debris and and just keep kept kept clean really. But otherwise, you know, I've had no issues with this shock. It's it's it is it is a sh a cheap shock, but no problems. I'm a 75 kilogram rider, and uh, I've I've had no issues. You know, I've taken on a mountain bike trails ridden the wheel and it's absolutely absolutely brilliant so so that covers the shock now um the uh my my only complaint really is uh the suspension boots um, where it slides up and down that gets uh that clips out um, i don't know if that's been fixed in the in the newer versions of the wheel if you do have a new s18 um please drop it in the comments below if your little dust boots that runs on the shock if they pop out mine's mine pops out i use a little bit of hot glue on the side just to uh, just to secure them down and uh, you know i was i i took out the wheel this morning and i saw again one of the one of the dust boots came off uh, it's one of those things uh, i would have liked a little bit of a better design um, it's quite hard to replace because you almost have to take the whole wheel apart um, but but yeah, it's, it's one of the things. The thing is, if dust and grit gets in there, it basically is going to start wearing out the uh, sleeve um, of your suspension, um, the suspension uh, two arms. Uh, but, but, you know, if you keep it clean, uh, that whole area of the wheel um, stays very clean, fairly, well, 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 more clean than I would have expected it to stay, um, just, bizarrely it's just it's, it's almost like how the wheel and the dust and the, we've had some really dry uh, times now in um in the uk where it's been very dusty and that whole area stays very clean so um very surprised and uh, very very happy about that so that's my only complaint on that side on the on the suspension also um the uh, the adjustment uh, uh, clamps at the bottom where you can set your pedals higher and lower um, I would have liked them to use different bolts or better bolts bolts that would um, it's easy to uh, do up and undo so you can adjust it um, I found my setting it's sort of in the middle um, that that is is really good um, and I've tightened them I've replaced my bolts with uh, stainless steel little uh, hex bolts and it's been perfectly fine but a lot of other people would like to change the height of the suspension uh, much more uh, so uh, i think that that could have been a better design the whole clamp and whatever and also just just make sure you know what i've done in a previous video is just to make sure that you uh, that you check all your bolts especially those four hanger bolts and then the uh, pedal uh, adjustment bolts it's always good to check the stuff. It's always good to check the stuff. Make sure that you don't go through a massive dip and your pedals just slide off. <laughs> the wheel goes on and you're standing on the ground. <laughs> the build quality of this wheel is, uh, is, is, is fairly good. You know, if I compare this now to, say, the, 
<laughs> the V12. Um, you know, just the paneling and the plastics and stuff and how tight the to tolerances are um, on, the, on the V12. Um, the SAT needs a bit of work. But uh, <laughs> that's sort of a small complaint. You know, I was, I'm very used to the stuff not 100% not, uh, 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 perfectly designed. But uh, I'm just going to stop here so we can talk a little bit further. I had a guy just uh, swing around with his uh, mountain bike to come and check out this uh, this wheel, and this is and this is and this is for this is for me is like a double thumbs up. The more people we can get riding these things, the better. You know, it 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 is it is it is it is for me. You know, um, these things are, are are dangerous in one way, and on the other way, they're fairly safe. You know. I've been cruising now at about 15 miles per hour, um, what's that, 25 kilometers an hour. Super chilled out, just enjoying the countryside. I don't know the routes here, so, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really enjoying it, just, just getting out and riding and exploring. So you don't always have to go at Mark 1, riding the wheel at that top level where um, you can run into problems like overpower, cut out, all these lovely things that... Uh, that makes you fall and hurt. You know, if you like speed, then you need to make sure that you are aware of where the wheels limits are or is, uh, and you need to ride um, ride just within that limit, um, and then you you'll be you'll be fine. You know, these things don't have like super backup safety equipment. You know, if if something dies, you're on your own. These things don't fly. It's not like a plane. It's like a helicopter. Think of this as a helicopter. If those props stop moving, it's gone. If this thing, something happens, it's gone. You know, you can't balance it like, like for instance, a one wheel. You can actually balance that wheel um, if something happens with the motor. The same as a, a push bike. Anything with uh, two, four wheels, as soon as the electric bits die, you can just uh, keep on cruising. So uh, just just be aware of it. But really, guys, you know, I've I've had zero issues with this wheel. Um, you know the pedals. You know the basic maintenance I've been doing. Really basic maintenance. Just making sure everything is clean. A little bit of uh, a, a cloth with light oil on, just wiping all the all the moving parts down. Um, you know, the only thing that I would have liked on the S18, and I would like that to be a standard option on all the wheels, is, is to have a knobby tire. Or um, that King Song would design a wheel that you can find a knobby tire easily and there's enough clearance within the mudguard to, uh, to, to, to actually support this uh, wheel. Um, this wheel is fine, but as soon as it becomes uh, rough terrain, I would have liked a, a tire the same as my Sherman. My Sherman's tire is just perfect. It's just absolutely awesome. Um, and I would have liked an option to not have to go and buy by a Japanese store or wherever, wait uh, two weeks for a tire. Um, I would have liked to go and say, okay guys, can I have a S18 with a knobby tire or can I order an S18 with a road tire? Um, but yeah, again, this tire, it's not slimed. I know, put my hand up, sorry about that. It's not slimed, but it's, uh, I've touched wood. Um, it has not had any, any punctures. I'm running at about, what is it, 30 PSI on the tire. Um, and it's between 28 and 30 PSI. And that's, uh, that's also been perfectly fine. Um, I've got my handle set to uh, like that. So it doesn't, it doesn't kill. Um, the only reason for that is if I have to jump off or whatever, I've got something to grab onto. So I've, uh, I've disabled the lift switch. Um, anything else? I can't think really, guys. It's, a, it's just a really solid, um, easy to use, easy to run, low maintenance wheel. Pretty much how all electric unicycles are. Um, they are pretty easy to maintain, pretty easy to... Uh, 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 I wouldn't say ride, but easy to uh, 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 lug around and move and, and, and operate. You know, it's one switch, you power on, power off. For me, this is, uh, this is such, such an awesome wheel. It, 
it's that in between wheel you know if you if you are happy with a with a say a 28 to 30 mile range on this one um, at say about 20 20 to 22 miles per hour um, and you are happy with a top speed of 20 or say of 31 miles per hour um, that you're never going to use want to go faster than that um, or you're just looking for a lighter trail wheel that you can uh, that you can just take out of your car without any issues jump on it and just go then this is such such a great wheel yeah the light on the front the auto light sensor that's awesome i wish my sherman had something like that because i cover a lot of areas uh, where forests and underneath bridges and stuff and it's just nice that the light comes on automatically um but yeah guys uh, uh, that's it yeah <laughs> a lot of talking but it's but it's uh, i can carry on for hours at how much i enjoy this wheel um i would have liked like flatter side pads to to sort of uh, um, have more options for for uh, jump pads or whatever but again with the pedals and how the wheel is designed i feel very comfortable putting a lot of power into it and braking as well that's another thing that i've got the handle up so if i need to jump off uh, jump off um, i grab to grab onto the handle so i can stop i can slow the wheel down so um yeah guys that's my feedback you know it's it's a it's a it's an awesome wheel um, um if if you guys out there that is sa18s and you've got any feedback about the wheel please drop it in the comments below it might help uh, new riders or a, a rider that wants to uh, buy a second wheel or upgrade a wheel um, so that they can see if you've had any problems or if you any of your experiences drop it in the comments below it, it it shares it out so if someone finds the video they can look at the comments they can start a bit of a conversation get some help also um, uh, tire recommendations um, drop it in the comments below other people that uh, might have uh, 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 options to order these tires uh, you know will 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 we'll, we'll find it you now i see a lot on the forums as well people say yeah just use this tire but they don't supply a link or anything so newer riders don't know where to go and find these things it's it's uh, it's you need to write the stuff out so uh, everyone can share that information so i found it at e-wheels this is the link i found this on amazon uh, japan that's the link so it's uh, the newer riders and the guys that don't know always where to find these things um can help them out so we can share the knowledge and share the share the experiences of these things because it's absolutely awesome um if you if you um if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel that would be much appreciated if you did like the video give it a thumbs up um also um they've enabled super thanks so if you want to buy me a coffee eat the super thanks give me like one pound to go and buy myself a coffee for my waffle and uh again guys much appreciated for thanks for watching and uh, i will see you on the next video i hope to make a few videos here in uh, germany uh, because it's such a beautiful place we're going to have good weather today and good weather tomorrow and then it's 90 percent chance of rain okay guys again thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bam enjoy your wheels